Right now we have on the line Drew Netterpelt, the founder of the Health and Wellness Monthly Magazine, and he's also the partner in our show here. So I'm real excited to introduce everyone to Drew. Drew, how you doing? Hey, Bill, the doctors, it's great to be here. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed the last uh, several shows you guys have been doing. You're, you're really carrying the banner proudly, and we're happy for that. Well, thank you. We're going to be talking today about the national launch, Drew. Can you fill us in? Sure, absolutely. Well, the, uh, we're, we're starting a print magazine uh, across the country, starting in San Francisco, in the San Francisco Chronicle on December 18th. Uh, people are asking, why in the world would you launch a print magazine in this world of online interaction. And I'll tell you, it's, it's really twofold. You guys are in health and wellness. Um, you also understand that we're inundated on a daily basis by content coming at us from TV, from radio, from online, from all the devices we have attached to us as we make our way through our daily lives. And to consume health and wellness content, uh, we felt that we needed another avenue to reach people at a time when they're not being pulled in different directions. And we discovered that the only way, I mean, when you're online, think about it. What are you trying to do when you're, when you're reading something online? You're trying to minimize the ads that are popping up. You're trying to avoid all of the banner ads. You're trying to avoid advertising in general. Most of this population today, 50% of people have ad blockers on their phone. So if you're an advertiser, uh, you're not reaching the consumers who know enough, the sophisticated consumers who know enough to install ad blockers. So we, we looked at the entire uh, offering available to us to communicate health and wellness content to our customers. We realized that print magazines are really the only bastion left where you can communicate to a consumer where they don't try to run away from your advertising and from your message. And while, believe me, as the guy who's writing the checks to print all of these magazines, to put them on trucks, to distribute them to the people and the businesses that were doing it, is very, very expensive. We'd rather not be doing this. But print magazines are really the only medium where a consumer feels it's me time. It's a time for them to sit back and they can not worry about minimizing ads or running away or changing the channel. They can escape from reality and even enjoy the advertising. As long as it's related to health and wellness, the advertising is actually welcome. It gives you suggestions for bettering your life. So really, printed magazines are, are a no-brainer uh, in that regard. And the second reason we're spending all this time and money on a printed magazine is because that's what our advertisers want. They want to know that we're reaching 100% of the people that we're trying to reach and that 100% of those folks are actually going to put their hands on our content. And as you can imagine, when you get a, a printed magazine delivered to your doorstep, whether you're a business or a home, if that magazine said quarter house daily or quarter horse daily or something like wax candle quarterly, most consumers are not going to pick that up with something called Health and Wellness Monthly Magazine, with real journalism, with quirky, edgy content, we think that we will get as close to 100%, if not 100% engagement. So it's, it's, it's the unique way of doing things, but we've, we've looked at the options, and we really think a printed magazine is the best way to get health and wellness content to the consumer. Question for you, what are some of the things we're going to be talking about in the first issue coming out? Well, it's, yeah, great question. You guys have already talked a little bit about um, uh, some of the articles. You guys did a great job talking to the founder of, of Bally's Gyms, Don Wildman, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that was in reference to an article in the first issue with regards to the evolution of exercise. And you guys, had, you guys spent most of the, uh, the show talking about how gyms have evolved from male centric and, and Don took uh, some great credit for having positioned uh, gyms and, and workout facilities to include women and to, to include females back in the seventies. So that's, that's, that's something most of our articles from this magazine bill, we could actually turn into hour long discussions on the radio because they're that interesting. Now you contrast that with health magazine, shape magazine, men's health magazine, 
we have a, we have a little game we play called uh, Health Magazine Bingo. And if you next time you're at a grocery store, just look at the health magazines next to you. You've got options. So the bingo includes uh, words like uh, lose and fast and all of the things that, 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 that are interchangeable in these different magazines. They all look the same. And, you know, everything will, every women's magazine will include the word belly or shrink or melt or sex. And literally every single magazine will include that. What we try to do is we try to bring stories to the consumer that they can't get elsewhere. Who's in charge of determining what those ER wait times are that you see on those billboards, right? That's a far cry from get your bikini ready belly. So we really believe- But question for you there, Drew. Yeah. Doesn't that tell you that's what people want to read? That that catches their their attention? Uh, Absolutely, absolutely. It's, It's like candy. If people could eat candy every day, all day, they would. But after a certain amount of candy, you kind of realize, you know what? I actually need to start eating a little better. If, if, you're, if you have a, a, a subsist on a steady diet of flat abs fast, then you are going to be left deflated. You're going to be left unhappy because you're not going to get, unless you're Bill Romanowski and, 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 and Bill Romanowski's uh, acolytes, you're not going to be able to get that body in the time frame in which it's uh, proposed. And Drew, so, I, were, Barbara, yeah. I, I am really excited because I think it's going to, this magazine is going to talk about things that really work. And as a doctor, 20 years in training, I'm telling you, those magazines are mostly baloney. And, well, and, and what we're talking about so far, like even last week's segment on sleep is just amazing because your magazine will be real facts that we can read when our blue screens are off before we go to sleep and then institute right. something every week. Exactly. And, and again, it's, it's not all gloom and doom for sure. I mean, our, our, our website for the magazine is yes, it's that important.com. So you sort of get the impression that we're not just talking about shrinking love handles and how to have better sex. We're talking about sort of a more universal health and wellness. So we do include fitness. We do include nutrition. We do include funny uh, articles. Uh, we also include all the gamuts of health and wellness. So it includes financial wellness. It includes uh, societal wellness. It includes mental, physical, spiritual. So we are, I mean, wellness is a very, very broad category. So, you know, maybe we're being a little harsh on the shapes and the, and the men's healths of the world because they really concentrate on fitness. But we're really an inclusive health and wellness magazine delivered every month to your doorstep. Well, for those of you who are just joining us, we're talking with CEO and founder of the Health and Wellness magazine, Drew Netterpelt. And uh, Drew, I appreciate your time. This is going to be a fun project for us. I can't wait to start reading the magazine. And we're going to have fun every week doing the show. We're fired up to get into all these different things that can really help make our lives better. And at the end of the day, that's what this is about. How can we make people better out there? Live better, leaner, healthier, sleep better, all of those things. So, hey, coming up, we're going to be talking about the Bulletproof Diet. You won't want to miss my special guest, Big Wave Surfer, Laird Hamilton. Stay with us. For more information on today's topics, check out Bill's podcast. Go to 860amtheanswer.com and click the podcast tab. The Health and Wellness Club with Bill Romanowski will continue in just a moment on 860 AM The Answer.